hello, 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 everyone. Um, this is Miss V in the kitchen coming to you live from the one and only Miss V's kitchen, you all. Uh, so today I am going to be doing my di dinner. I'm actually just sharing dinner with you guys. And I'm doing brown stew red snapper. And then I'm also doing jerk chicken. I'm also I'm doing the rice and peas. And here they call it red kidney beans. And I'm also going to do some steamed cabbage. But this time I'm doing the regular, regular cabbage. And I'm going to add some purple cabbage. I actually did that last week just by accident. And it came out so good. I was like, whoopee, whoopee. But anyway. So let's get started. I already have the, um, the, the rice and peas start, start cooking because that takes a little while. Also, my jerk is in the oven. I already moved it from the grill. And now I'm going to start my cabbage. And I didn't have these ready. I just realized at the last minute. But this don't take any time. This is real easy. So I'm getting this for my cabbage, y'all. So I do everything except for onions. I used to put onions in my cabbage, but I realized that the onions, I don't know, it, it kind of overpowered, overpowered the meal itself. So I stopped putting in the onions in there. So I don't put onions anymore, not in the cabbage, of course. I put the, the bell peppers. And you can put whatever color bell pepper you like. I just love the um, different colors, so I try to put them all in. But um, it's kind of up to you whichever one you want to put in. And this right here, like I said, you are... If you all don't have one, you all need this in the kitchen. It is so, so convenient. Thank you, Sharon and Sinclair, for giving me this extra one that you have had at home. Girl, it is coming in handy. Okay, this, 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 this process right here usually takes a long time um, to prep, to do your um, bell peppers and stuff. Now, as you can see, look, y'all, it's done. That's it. So that's the bell pepper, and this is for the cabbage, y'all. That's for the cabbage. Okay, so while we have the, have the cabbage going, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, this is for the this wrong one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the. I'm going to start the red snapper. And with the red snapper, y'all, I already have the snapper seasoned up. And I wanted, um, I didn't want it to be, you know, like um, pale. So I already have it seasoned up, and I can tell you guys, you know, what season I put on it. The first, is what I did also with my red snapper. I always put some browning on it to get it that, um, you know, get it that different color. And, and I, I, I even put it on the, on the regular one that I do. But this one right here, this is the brown stew anyway, so you, you're going to add it. And it has a, a bunch of water, so we don't want all that splashing. So I'm going to... Okay, so it's the next slide. Okay, I, I noticed when you first fry... Go ahead and put this side, the flat side, put this side down first. And if not, then the other side is kind of um, crumble up in the pot. And I, um, so that, that, that's what I was trying to figure out, which side does that. Okay, so this is, okay, that, that's the snapper. So we're going we're gonna to brown it, and then after we brown it, then we're going to bring it to a stew with, with the browning. And you guys can use whatever browning, but I use a special kind of browning now for my brown stew and also my brown stew fish and also my chicken. You know, I always be trying to fit it all in the in the in the pot, y'all. You know? Fit it all in, fit it all in, so I don't have to do two different sets. Yeah, we're gonna get it all in. Get it all in. Okay. Okay. 
Salam kita terus. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this fish. Okay, let's get this fish situated in in the pot. See, that's it. It all fit. Put it, turn it all the way around. There we go, y'all. So we're just trying to get that fry. Let's get the stove going some. Okay, now to the cabbage. Just gonna stir this up, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cabbage. And see, so like I said, the cabbage already shredded, and I, I did the, the purple cabbage also. And I didn't put a lot of purple because um, it can also can overpower it, so I did put a lot of purple cabbage, purple in it. Just just a small portion of it. Put a little bit of water. You don't need a lot of water because your cabbage is gonna spring water. So you do not need a lot of water. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit it down, cover it up, and let it, let it do what it do. Okay. So that's that. Trying to be multitask, y'all. While while that is cooking, that um the cabbage is not ready to be seasoned down or anything yet. So I'm going to go ahead and you all, there's a punch that I'm always trying different stuff, y'all. So when I went to Jamaica for my sister's wedding, she asked me to bring some tang. And, you know, just passion fruit or uh, fruit punch or whatever. This is orange. This is passion fruit. And I brought it for her, and that's what she used for her wedding. And you all, it was so good. I couldn't believe it was tang. Um, and which is what we would consider Kool-Aid growing up, but this is the um, this is the uh, I guess the um, the um, the um, the the uh, pricey version of Kool-Aid for us, the upgrade. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add this. This is the upgrade, y'all. Kool-Aid. Oh, I'm gonna pour it up. Okay, that don't. It's so small. Okay. Like I said, this one is the orange. I might need, need to put some more in. Okay. And another thing I'm going to add. Well, I was supposed to put some water in this. So, I did some frozen. Frozen mango, peaches, and strawberry. And the water was supposed to already be in here so it can kind of. It was frozen anyway. So these are the frozen ones I got at um, HEB. In addition to that, I'm going to add orange juice, 100% orange juice. And I'm telling you all, it is the bomb. Like, it really is good. You all can add mango, just whatever, whatever fruit you guys like, just add whatever fruit. I usually just try just about every fruit. I've tried the pineapple, the orange, the mango, but I love the mango. The kids love the mango too. And then when I blend the mango up, I try to leave some chunk for the mango. So you actually get to chew on the mango, you know, while you are drinking that. Just flipping these. This is a big piece of red snapper, y'all. I guess I guess we know who that piece is gonna belong to. Me? <laughs> I guess I, I guess I'll give it to Mr. Banks. Maybe. I don't know. So there it is, y'all. So that's the um that's the fish. So let's go back to our juice mix, y'all. Mix it all in. And also, another thing that you guys can add, so this is the frozen orange juice. You guys can actually add the frozen pink lemonade or the frozen um, limeade, either one. I've already tried all of them, and um, they actually, um, those are good too. And um, you can just add any kind of fruit, you know, make it into a natural fruit. And you all, I didn't try it with some uh, Appleton Special, that Jamaican liquor. No, that was good. That put me to sleep, though. It was good. 
Okay, let's get this ready for the punch. Oops. I'm going to check on this cabbage here in a bit. Go ahead and check on the cabbage. Okay, you want to see the, the nice color starting to appear in the cabbage. I love that green. So you also, I learned from Miss Bettina Evans that um, the outer green part of the cabbage, you all, I used to throw it out. Like when I was working with, with her at the, at the restaurant, one day I was cutting up the cabbage. I was putting the cabbage up and I, I started to throw in the green area, the outer green area. And she asked me, she said, what are you doing? I said, uh, I'm putting it in the trash, it's dirty. She said, girl, she said, that's where all the vitamins is at, like in that outer green. So now what I do, I wash it really good, which I usually wash it anyway. But I, you know, I, I spend more time, especially now with the sickness. I, I wash it, wash my stuff in um, vinegar, vinegar and water anyway. But yeah, she said that's where all that vitamin is that, that we need. But do you all see that nice, pretty, oh, drop my towel. Get me a towel then. You get that same one, another one, the same one. Okay. Put that one in the dirty thing. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have the, the helpers in the kitchen, y'all. Leanna is helping me with one camera, and then I have Corey helping me with another camera because I'm doing Facebook, and I'm also doing my YouTube channel. And you all, please like. Go to my uh, my YouTube channel. It's going to be Miss B, Miss B in the kitchen, and it's M-R-S-B-E-E -E in the kitchen. I'm going to add my butter, and you can add your stick butter or you can add, add your regular butter, and I'll show you. These are the two... These are the two, this, this is the only butter that I use. This one right here or this, and you can use either one for your rice or your, your rice and peas or your cabbage. This one is the unsalted. I try not to get the salted butter. I'm not going to use it all, so I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to put a piece in the cabbage. And then here in a few minutes, I'm going to season my cabbage up. And it'll be ready, y'all. That's it after that. And then I just need to cook down this red snapper. And that's it. But this cabbage is good, y'all. I tried the other night. Like I said, I didn't have enough regular cabbage. And I had some purple. I thought, okay, let me try it. In. And I did. And it was good. My friend loved it. My kids loved it. Leanna loved it. My friend, Miss Charmaine Jackson, she loved it. She said, girl, that cabbage was good. She's from the island, y'all. Okay. We're going to bring this back. And we're going to turn this down. Okay, this pretty much is cooked. And the more you cover it, it's going to steam. So you don't want it to get soggy. I'm just going to turn it down and tend to this fish. And this, uh, yeah, the fish, yeah. It's, ooh, I can smell it, y'all. I'm going to bring my pot over for my fish, for my brown stew fish right there. And on this side, put this a little bit. This one is so big, y'all. This is a, this is a big, a big one right here. Let us kind of poke it. Can you stop moving, Lana? Ooh, I'm gonna. I, I just kind of put it. This is a really big, big piece. When I put, I'm gonna put it in the bottom, so it will definitely that stuff will um the water, the juice will be. I mean, the gravy will be over it. Okay. So this right here. This was frozen. So I'm making sure it all. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little, little water in here. I'm gonna need some more anyway, but just, just a little for right now. I'm gonna add, add my stuff, y'all. This needs to be out of the way. 
so. for the color on it and this is because of the browning that browning give it this give it that color and I'm going to show you all the browning here in a second there we go and also I'm going to do just a little bit of this grease on it from the um, from the fish give it the, the flavor of the fish okay that's it cover going and I think I want to switch this over because this is going to do much be much faster if I do it put this over here and this should be finished okay turn that up okay. and I'm going to turn this down because this is finished I just need to season um add my season so for the cabbage This is, ooh, this is boiling up, y'all. But for the cabbage, I'm going to put just a um, half a teaspoon of everything that I'm adding. And, you know, you can, you, you guys can add uh, more or less if you need. I, I, um, we're trying to cut down. I don't think I need a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Trying to cut down a lot on the, on the spi spices, on the salt. So... The more you put in there, the more you know salty it will get. This side should have buy the um the fine onion powder. This is the powdered one. Stir it in. And like I said, I'm gonna turn it off, y'all, because um I think if I cook it anymore, it's gonna be soggy. Now I just need to um season it up and taste it and make sure the flavor is there. And also, if you guys want uh, just a little kick to it, this is what I usually add, just to get that kick to it. Just a little, not a lot, just a little bit of it. And one last thing I'm going to put is Miss V's secret spice. If I tell you all what it is, I may have to get rid of you all, so I can't, can't tell you all what it is. <laughs> Oh, I didn't put any salt, just a little bit. Stir it all in. And it's so pretty, y'all. It's just nice and pretty. Look at that. Like I said, this one I did last week. I, I, I was cooking for my friend, um, Miss Sharman, and uh, I had a piece of purple cabbage. I said, oh, let me, let me, um, let me try this. And I told her I was going to give her a dinner plate. I said, let me try this. And I did. And y'all, it was actually good. I don't want to burn myself, y'all. On national TV. <laughs> just a little bit more garlic powder because I don't really taste the garlic powder okay and like I said you all can you know can kind of add take away as far as the um the spice is concerned you know depending on how much you want in your stuff okay now let's, let's get back to this right here and then you can see that sucker is bubbling up so this is the browning that I use, y'all, and I'm going to put a little in. And uh, y'all do not need a lot. This sucker, this sucker is strong. So if you put too much, it's going to be really dark. So you don't need a lot in there. I don't want to move the fish because I don't want to. I'm going to 
definitely get my black pepper. And you all, if, if you want to get your, your gravy, like a little um, thick, you can add some flour to the, um, some water, mix some water and put the, put, make the gravy. I usually, I used to do the flour. Um, my mom introduced me to the, to the cornstarch. So that's what I start using now. I, I actually use the, the cornstarch instead of using the flour. So with the flour, seem like you can actually taste the flour if you put too, too much in it. So you can actually taste that flour. So, yeah, but I didn't know that you could actually use the cornstarch, but she is the one who, um, you know, told me about the cornstarch. And that's what I, that's what I use now. <laughs> Let that cook down. Oops. And I'm going to do just a little cornstarch just for my, just for my gravy. And then that's it, you all. That will be ready. My rice and peas is already cooked. I have to um, cook that ahead of time because I know that that takes a little that takes a little while. Oh, I forgot to put my my fresh thyme in your. Still gonna go ahead and put it in. I still got time to put it in. So this is this is the fresh thyme. Just kind of add it in. And another thing that um, in Jamaica that we use. This right here we call scallion. Here they call it green onions, but we call it scallion. I remember the first time I got when I got here, and um, I wanted, uh, I was looking for it, and I was like, hmm, I don't see it. It didn't say scallion, but it says green onion. I said, okay, so um, I learned something new. <laughs> I really appreciate it from the bottom of, of my heart and I know that everything that you had mentioned it, um, after you mentioned it it was just so obvious but um, of course I didn't see it so I really 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 appreciate you just so you know um, Miss Bettina you are she's my she's a friend of mine and my personal mentor and she knows her way around the kitchen, y'all. Okay, so this is the, um, this is the punch. Do me a favor and take out the chicken out the fridge, out the, out the oven. This right here is for the punch, y'all. So this is, that was the glass I had to taste the punch, I put it up. Is this one? Make sure you get that. Yeah, okay. Good. Alrighty, y'all. So this is um, see the color for this right here for the punch. And you all let's let it um, let it let, let it get cold. Let it uh, let it cool. I put some ice in it. I'm telling y'all, it is good. It is good. You can you can also add sugar for just your tang, and then you can add sugar to it to sweeten it. But I just don't put any sugar. What I do, I add the uh, fruits. So I, I use that's um I use the natural sugar from the fruits, and uh, it, it it is it is really good. It is good. Mmm, mm. and it give it a little that thickness. That um that fruit that fresh fruit give it a little kind of thickness to it so it's not watery. And like I said, if you all drink the good old Jamaican rum or that 
good old Appleton Jamaican rum. Just a little bit in there. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I tell you. I tried it two, two nights ago. It was good, y'all. It was good. So, I'm finishing up. All I'm doing right now, I'm going to do the, the cornstarch. The cornstarch for the for the fish. And then that's it. Whenever I do my start, whether I do the cornstarch or the, the flour, I usually use the warm water, not the cold water, because the warm water actually dissolves it faster. I used to use the cold water, but I, I realized that the warm water dissolves it much faster than the cold water. Because when I use the cold water, it will leave like like um, little lumps in it. I, I mean, like it, it's perfect right now. And also, you can still add your flour to this if you if you want to, if you you know just love using that flour. But I just use the corn mm -hmm. sauce by itself. And what I do, just so I don't put it on my stuff and it turns white, I usually add a little bit of brown in to to get to get, get that white out. Because you don't want to put it on the see. Let's put the brown. Put some brown in in there. So then you don't want to put it on the on the fish and then the fish is white from the powder. See I don't I have the strainer y'all. I don't even need the strainer. It um it literally all all like came out came out perfect. And I don't think I'm gonna need all of this. Oops, you know what? It's sticking up right here. a little bit. Yeah, I did too much. That's already thick enough. Okay. Alrighty, that's it. I'm going to taste the fish and, and see what it tastes like. Right here, <laughs> you all. I am ready to eat. Fish going in one, two, three. It's going in. But um, we can put that like literally put that on it after. Right y'all, the rice looks per oh my goodness. Really, you it doesn't get any better than this. Like literally, when you cook your rice, this is what you want your rice looking like. You don't want it all like soggy. 
And I usually put like a, a pepper. I just use a fork and poke it and put it in. And it's not going to go to the bottom. So you're going to remember it's in there. It's going to be right on top. And this, this is my scallion. And I also put some thyme. And one of these days, y'all, when I have a little bit more time, I'll show you how to do the rice from scratch. But also, if, if you guys have a rice cooker, it is so much easier to use a rice cooker. Well, for some people, because some people have a problem with it. At first, I, I, I had a lot of issue with it at first. I can cook the rice, but then adding the peas to it was the problem. But now I kind of figure out, you know, how to use it. But like I, like I said, your rice should be nice and fluffy and shelly like this right here so um this is the perfect rice and peas it doesn't get any better than this like literally it really doesn't i just um i didn't know it was gonna it was gonna yield this much though it's quite a bit but uh aside from that it's that's it i'm gonna make mr ben's plate And oh, get the, um, get the, get the jerk, man. Just bring it over here. Just sit it right here. Get the jerk. Hmm? I forgot the jerk, y'all. Man is bringing it over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plate this up. Plate Mr. Banks' plate. Just sit it right there, mama. Thank you, thank you, Junior Chef Lay. And you all, Junior Chef Lay will be um will will also be featured. Also be featured on in my uh, in, 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 in Miss V's kitchen. So I'll let you all know she's gonna be doing the breakfast for the most part. And here it is. That's the that's the jerk chicken. That's the jerk chicken. And this is the brown stew red snapper. This is the rice and peas. Fried the red kidney bean. Oh, that's hot. This is the cabbage. And this cabbage have regular cabbage, regular cabbage, and also the purple cabbage. Get it with it for regular cabbage. Regular cabbage and the purple cabbage. That's it. And see that that that, that color. And then you got the rice and peas. Rice and peas. The the um the um, brown stew red snapper jerk chicken and then that's a punch but I'm going to I'm going to plate it up and I'm pretty sure I don't have to ask Mr. Banks what he wants I'm pretty sure he wants the red snapper I'm going to plate this up for him and I have a few friends who I who I um uh oh decide to treat to dinner today so they're they're going to come get their plate I'm going to make it so when they get here I can run it out I'm going to put the um, two sides on either side. And then I'm going to put the this fish right on in the middle. Okay. Where is my... Okay, right here. I guess I'm going to give Mr. Banks the fish and chicken. He three or... This is a big, big piece, y'all. Oh, put it right on in the middle. And let me get. I know he loves his onions, so let's get some onions. That's it, y'all. So this is the rice and peas. Well, let me take this off here to this nice piece of fish. That is the that is the brown stew red snapper. Put this stuff back on it. I'm gonna give it to you for in a second, like we can take a picture. I need a. I'm gonna go ahead and give him. I guess just give him leg. 
with this. It should be good. And I'm going to set this right here on the side. Ooh, God. the smell, y'all, is out of this world. And there it is. Let me put it down. Oops. I don't want to stretch on this. Okay. Here it is. You all take a picture. Oops. Fix it. Put it on the door. Fix it. I'm gonna do the punch. You want fish or um, corn? Fish or snapper? Mm -hmm. I, I fish. mean, fish or chicken? Fish. Why did I ask that question? I can just go ahead and give you what we have, right? because my friend is supposed to be here and I'm going to give you oh my god these um these wings look so good this is little dudes y'all this is little dudes play it here check it up with it over there okay and that's it and uh, I'm going to cut up uh, one last thing I'm going to do is cut up this I already watched this early I'm going to cut up this um going to cut up this cucumber so we can have a few cucumbers to eat. Like in Jamaica y'all, usually every meal, like especially on Sunday, every meal come with some cucumber or um, some cabbage. We call it uh, we call it vegetables. So we um we do the cabbage, the um cold cabbage. I guess they call it here, they call it coleslaw, but uh, we don't call it slaw. So we, we do the um the, the fresh, the cabbage without cooking. Then we put some carrots and also like some tomatoes, cucumbers. And I love the cucumbers with the with the black pepper, with some black pepper and a little bit of salt on it. Or with some rice and peas. I love that. And so this is what this is. So this is the, this is the cucumber. And I'll just put it on the table, and we just kind of, you know, whoever want it. Usually, if I have tomatoes also, we we'll put a little bit of tomato. And like, get, get a tomato and just kind of cut it up. And you can also use that. But I don't, I don't have, I don't have a round tomato, so. Again, y'all, like I say, so today that was the rice and peas, rice and red kidney beans, also the brown stew red snapper. I hope you guys, you know, kind of learn, learn something from that, and we'll try it one day. Um, the jerk chicken, I, I put it on the on the on the grill, and then I usually bring it back and put it in the oven because a lot of time you do your chicken, y'all, and when you bite into the bone, the bone is red. So um, I try um, to put it in the oven just for a little bit, just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. Usually the wings usually cook very easily on, on the grill, and the small, small leg, um, they usually cook very easily. But thanks for tuning in. Please, please, please tell your friends uh, about my um, my YouTube cooking channel. It's um, Miss V, which is M-R-S, V-E-E -E in the kitchen, y'all. Please like and subscribe. Uh, at this point, I am um, I can actually upload a video. I, I can I can video I do a video and upload it on my YouTube channel. But I am not able to do live video just yet until I get over a thousand um, subscription. So as soon as I get over a thousand um, subscription, then I can actually do uh, um, live cooking, y'all. And that's where you all come in because then. I'll be taking, you know, taking, uh, like taking, um, 
taking ideas, taking menu ideas, and I, I'll be cooking it, and you all can literally follow along with me. I'll let you all know, like, the, the day before, you know, what all the ingredients you need and what all you need, and we could literally kind of do it together, y'all. All righty, thanks for tuning in. You all have a blessed day. Stay safe. Peace out. Miss V in the kitchen, y'all. Did I do it right?